Well, here I am in the Legion household kitchen. And I was just thinking recently about uh, dinners, suppers, when I was a boy. And how fabulous, in retrospect, how fabulous those dinners were. We had real conversation with, with some great food, as it turns out. It's like every meal was a feast with the family gathered around the kitchen table, sitting in the kitchen. First of all, the feast was always some Armenian-related food. And so I remember, it would always be like a lot of okra mixed with bits of lamb and vegetables. And no matter how much yogurt or ketchup I put on it, it was still hard to get down. Um, and my dad, uh, I still remember this, he would take one of the big serving spoons and he would hit on the side of the, the pot of food. He, he'd hit it and he'd say, ha! This is real food in his heavily accented uh, English. And then he would say something like, you know, those non-Armenians out there, they're having hamburgers and french fries, but we, we have real food. And I would always think as a boy, hey, where are these families and how can I go eat with them? But then when we get down to talking, we talk about how the day went. We would talk about things of consequence. Let me run over some of those things. There would be, this would be in the 1950s, there would be talk of racism. And maybe we would say something about, oh, those Negroes, you know. And I remember to this day, his hand would come down on the kitchen table and he says, hey, no, they are people too. Kind of like uh, Black Lives Matter. When we would even start gossiping about somebody, <laughs> the hand would come down again. He says, hey, you don't know. Every house, it has four walls, and you don't know what that person is going through, so don't talk about them. Uh, we would talk about politics. I remember this. My dad voted for Adley Stevenson. Google him sometime. Adley Stevenson twice. Um, maybe that's where I got my politics from. Uh, we, we would talk about things that matter. We even talked about consumerism in healthy food. That's when McDonald's was just coming out. He would say, hey, who would pay 19 cents for a hamburger when you can go home and have real food? At any rate, the food back then was hard to get down. But in retrospect, the dinner, the table, it was real real conversation. So, hey, at your dinner tables at home, once in a while when you can get together with your family and, and, and you can talk, use the time to talk about things that matter in a Christ, Christian way. How can we view, in a Christ-like way, uh, racism? How can we view gossip in a Christ-like way? How can we change the world to make it more Christ-like. So, at your dinner table, whether it is some okra uh, concoction or whether it's hamburger and french fries, let your dinner talk be real and let it be Christ-like. Party off, workshop.